I'm Brittany. And I'm Drew. And for the past five years, we've been exploring the world by van. Subscribe, and we look forward to sharing where this unpredictable adventure takes us all. Spirit, do you recognize where you are? This is where you were born. Back at the workshop. <laughs> Look at those fresh logs. Oh, it's good to be back. Oh, it's super good to be back. This place makes me smile. <laughs> Every time. Do you remember this place? This is where we put the final touches on Spirit, our van, using all of this beautiful, retrieved, repurposed wood. And we haven't been back to San Diego since Spirit's maiden voyage over five months ago. <laughs> <laughs> and there was no way we could resist coming back for some hugs. What's up? How are you guys? Yeah. How's your adventure? We're back. Dude, How are you good doing? to see you, my man. Uh, home sweet home. I feel like I can get my hands dirty right now. Start cutting something. Start drilling something. Start building. Ah, I miss that feeling. There it is. Everything jammed into here. <laughs> I got the goods. You ready to do one of your favorite things? I'm ready to play hockey. <laughs> favorite jam. Saturday morning hockey at the beach. There's nothing like a Santa Monica Saturday morning. The vibes are nice. Till next week. All we gotta do now is get to Santa Monica. There's a lot of traffic. Welcome to Southern California. On a Friday evening. <laughs> On a Friday night. are with the recent fires. Oh, except the highway's in the way. Rodney, you're home. Welcome to one of our favorite places in the world. And the location of Drew's future hockey game that we had to stop by our storage unit to get his gear for. Good morning everyone. Before life on the road, Drew and I lived in LA for four years and whenever we come back we get so excited to do our favorite things. Except this time we have even more to look forward to because tomorrow we're going to be co-hosting a meetup with Max, Lee, and Aki. If you guys don't know who they are, they're probably our biggest inspiration for sharing our story in the most authentic and transparent way. And if I'm being completely honest, yesterday we tried filming this intro except we got in a fight. As you can imagine, vlogging is hard, especially vlogging as a couple and especially on a consistent basis. It forces us to capture moments and tell a story when maybe our moods and our energy and our confidence is just lacking and that can cause tension to arise and kind of take over. On top of that, we're going to Hawaii for a month. And we wanted to stick to our commitment of sharing an episode with you every week for a year. And so because of that, we decided to double our workload, film, edit, and upload five extra episodes before we fly out next week. I think that sort of broke us. But onwards and upwards, and now we'll especially appreciate the fact that we're not going to have to edit while we're in Hawaii. We'll see what happens next year. If we'll continue with being consistent each week, or maybe I'll start my own ASMR channel.
I don't know. What do you guys think? Let us know what you want to see more of maybe in the comments below. We're super grateful for you guys. Our community has grown so beautifully over the past year and we're grateful for each and every one of you. Speaking of gratitude, happy Thanksgiving to you guys who are watching in real time. We hope that you get to share this special day with the ones that you love and know how appreciated you are by us. All right, now that I've got all that off my chest, I'm going to go do one of my favorite things while Drew does one of his. husband. How was your game? Man, scored some goals, got some shots, got bumped around a little bit. Check this out. Got a nice little shiner. Went for a slide, blocked a shot. <laughs> you seem real happy. Yeah, it was good. We'll see All right, man. Take, Take care. care. Oh, I need a hug too. I'm gonna put this yeah. down. And we're off. Time to relocate so we can shower. This is the most amazing spot you could possibly shower. Pretty great. Got better. As much as we want to take you on a bike ride down the Venice boardwalk, like I said earlier, we doubled our workload, so we have some things to get done. And this is quite possibly the coolest, most distracting office ever. Especially your office. How's that view treating you? So <laughs> mesmerizing out there, and there's so much going on. Definitely some interesting smells coming in through here too. There's a, there's a volleyball tournament going on, bikers, music, strange characters mingling around. I love slicing the apples thin like this and then sprinkling them with cinnamon. Da -da -da. Do we need supplies for tomorrow? Yeah, we should probably go to a store, right? Yeah. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> there she goes. Good night, son. It's moments like this where we wish we still had our drone. 
Yeah, we're going to get a replacement soon, though. Yeah, you'll find out more about what happened to the drone in next week's episode. Yeah, we love showing that aerial footage because it's so sweet. And tonight, Drew and I have a hot date. So we're going to call it a night from here, and we will see you tomorrow. Reservations for two. We need some time just outside the van that we get to love on each other and just appreciate our marriage. And we'll see you tomorrow with Max, Lee, and Aki. We'll see you guys there. Good night. One more peek for you. Hey, handsome. Look what I got. A new a drone. A new drone. Yay. Ugh. Oh. Froggy 2. The guy was so nice. I was flying it here in Hollywood amongst the buildings. I found it on Craigslist. We're literally on Hollywood Boulevard here. Yeah. We were right next to Usher's Star and Goldie Hawn. Yeah. And he bought the drone. He bought the drone. That guy was in film school. And he barely used it. And he just felt like he wow. shouldn't have it anymore and declutter a little bit. Meet your new drone, everyone. He's going to be capturing lots of beautiful footage for you. Some epic footage. Send him all of your best wishes so that he has a very long, wonderful life. <laughs> Feeling good. Let's go celebrate. Yee! Good morning. Now isn't that a sight to see first thing? I love the Grove, especially at Christmas. Yeah, it's got a good vibe. It's a complete stark contrast to life on the road, but it sure does feel good to be back. Yeah. Reindeer up there. <laughs> Right over here. We used to live like literally right across the street from this place. Such a great spot. See the Hollywood sign? Right there. It's pretty foggy this morning, but you can sort of see the words. We've got all of Hollywood Boulevard. This is a killer spot to kind of get a 360 of the entire city. We used to come up here for sunset. Yeah. We've seen fireworks from up here. We've seen it all. <laughs> it's our secret spot. So they say like no videography or photos up here. I mean, carrot cake's my favorite. What's yours? I think I would get him a whipped cream pie. He's large, he's a large dog. Just makes sense. I mean, these look pretty freaking yeah, good. More like animal style. style. Yeah, like in and out. One whipped cream pie. Anything else for you? So this is not chocolate. This is made with carob. So it's safe for the dog to eat. That actually looks really freaking good. That's really good. I'm gonna smell it. it smells good. <laughs> nope, it's for Aki. Keep this safe and away from me. <laughs> These are prickly pears. They come off of cactuses. Drew and I first tried them in Morocco and he actually picked these with his bare hands and he got stuck with all of these little prickers that we learned you're supposed to burn off before you pick the prickly pears. Picking cactus fruits. The prickly pear. The I didn't prickly get stabbed, pear. but there's nice. hairs all over my hands. Oh yeah, there's all those little hairs. Oh, they're yeah. kind of sticking into me actually. Yeah, they're kind of like um, little pricklies. Ooh. So Drew basically got a bunch of little hairs stabbed into his hands wow. picking those cactuses. Does it feel it's like little so splinters? Little you can't even see them. Like little, like little needles. Invisible needles. Stabbing Aww. me to death. <laughs> so we're gonna get two for us and two for Max and Lee. So they can try it too. Ooh, these would be fun little baby apples. We were gonna get little cuties, the little oranges, but you don't have to peel these. We'll do these too. <laughs> That's fun. All right. Yo.
always come back for more. <laughs> to the meetup we go. Here we're drying out all of our clothes from yesterday. Drew's hockey clothes, my running clothes. Let the sun work, it's magic. Mmm, so juicy. Mmm, yep, I eat the hair and everything. No! <laughs> oh, Drew takes such big bites. This is why I'm so small, guys. <laughs> Drew and I were sharing some thoughts as we drove through the city, reflecting on how there are so many different ways to spend your money here and how easy it is. But since living on the road, we've really been able to work our muscle of knowing to spend our money on the things that matter and that lead to long-term happiness versus the short-term gain. There's just so many ways that we're marketed to on a constant basis and it's more evident when you're in a large city with so many fascinating and exciting restaurants, events, shopping opportunities. And when we're out in nature, we realize that we can find happiness through the simple things. And so I think that's what Brittany's trying to say is we just prioritize what makes us happy. Exactly. And I think that's one of the greatest benefits of van life. It really shows you what your values are and it allows you to shed those pressures that we have to buy and look a certain way and dress a certain way. You really just get to know who you are and it allows you to move into your future in the most authentic way possible. So we may not live in a van forever, but we're gonna do the next right thing for us because now we know too much about who we are and what we value to live any other way. What a gorgeous day. We're here. We're trying to scope out where we should go. We're gonna get ourselves settled in. We can't wait to meet Max and Lee. And we'll share more with you guys when it feels natural to pick up the camera again. See you soon. Hi, what's up? What's up, guys? So cool to see your faces. Hey, buddy, I know. I know, right? Good to see you guys. But yeah, if you guys are happy to board up, we're in. Snacks over there on the table. We got the van wives, Max and Lee, and us. Quite a crew. Hi, everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. We love you. Oh, we love you too. So sweet. <laughs> what do you got? You got the goods over there? There you go. I wiped those pastries. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, look at that. That's so sweet. Oh, my gosh. Uh, coolest cookie ever. One thing I can tell you is you got to be free. Come together. Take a look at this beautiful build. I love how simple this burlap cover is on the shelf and their little wood details. Really smart way to fill in the gaps here. Happy Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing anything right now. He's already drooling. He's so well behaved. Yeah. See him selling me. So if you tell him to, if you tell him to wait, you'll wait until you say okay. Okay. Oh. I, oh. Wait. 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 Do I? Just you can go. You can put it there and say wait, and he won't take it. Wait. Wait. Okay. It's big. He's like, how do I? Oh, how do I? There you go. Good boy, say thank you, Rocky. Aww. He's in heaven, guys. Did you tell him the name of it? The Woofy Pie. The Woofy Pie. <laughs> I can't believe the dog bakery is a thing. That's epic. And I can imagine them doing really well. Yeah, especially in LA. Yeah, it's in West Hollywood. <laughs> and the snack bar. Look at all this deliciousness. We even got a ton of homemade van cookies. Some of our guests stayed up all night making these cute little guys. Yes. Actually, it's that van right there. But everyone cares more about the vans right now than the food. I don't blame them. We got some pretty great people out here today. We got our first takers. Max and Lee are giving a little speech. I'm gonna convince Lee we're going to vote. We just want to say thank you for taking time out of your days like today and coming out. And I think it's fitting that it's on a Sunday because this is when, you know, we always shared our adventures on the road with a lot of you here. And some of you were just meeting for the first time. Most, I mean, most of you were meeting for the first time. And some old friends are here with us as well. And, and we then Britt and Drew are meeting for the first time. Yeah, exactly. And oh. we love that you brought your vans and your dogs, your snacks, and your kids, and are just sharing the afternoon with us. And this is kind of what the community 
is about to us is getting to know and interact with you in person and we're so excited to like take it from online and make it into a real life community and this is our goal and excitement of kind of getting back here and bringing our band back so our band's in customs today that's why it's not here it's still not released from the border but yeah we just appreciate you all we appreciate you all joining us both here online and in real life and thank, thank you, you all. Guys. Yeah. Woo! I'm just here for the t-shirts are coming, so... Yeah. 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 Oh my god. Yeah. Everyone is always wanting to know more about the van swing, but it's been so fun sharing our van with you guys in real life and just getting to hug you and get to know you as real people. We're blessed that we've been able to build such a kind-hearted community. And the sun's going down. Look at this, another wood burning stove. I love when a van incorporates this, right? Brian, you got a rad crib. Thank you. Guys, it's the end of the night. We've had an absolute awesome time here doing a meetup. Um, thanks to Max and Lee for organizing it. Ooh, ooh. Thanks ooh, for ooh. letting us be a part of your beautiful community and thanks for doing it with us. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like we said, it's only our yeah. first time in the States really doing a meetup and yeah. everybody today was incredible. We had fun. I wish we had more time together. I know. Though. I know. It's been short and nice. quick. It's nice to have people to talk to that know exactly. Yeah. yeah. What it's like, like living. Yeah. yeah. What it's like traveling via van in a foreign country, crossing many borders, and the challenges and the amazing things that come from it. And we can't wait for you guys to get reconnected with your van. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. We're Hopefully. Looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice to meet up. Nice to finally meet you guys in the flesh. Like yeah. everyone else here, it was exactly. good to see in the skin for the yeah. first time. Yeah. 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 Next time in Canada in the summer, we'll see you. Absolutely. Or hopefully sooner. Yeah. Or maybe another Definitely. Central American country. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Never know. Okay. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Good night. Oh, all the things. 2 a.m. in the car playing our favorite song. Turn it up, windows down. We sing along.